This Etsy seller has made over $1.3 million in profit selling a digital product that we're able to create using AI. And so has this one and this one. And in this video, we're gonna go over what that product is and exactly how we can make it using AI in a matter of minutes. And this is an opportunity in a massive market that's only gonna to continue to grow. And what they're selling are these digital pictures of people's pets. The customer uploads a picture of their cat or dog or family member. Then they go into Photoshop and edit it to make it more graphically appealing. And this process used to take tons of time and effort, but now we can do it just with AI. And we're going to be doing this using two popular AI tools that you may have heard of before called Fodor and Canva. Don't worry, they're both extremely easy to use. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create a listing on Etsy so that we can start getting customers who are going to submit their pictures of their pets to us. And we're going to specify to our customers that this needs to be a picture that your pet is looking straight at the camera so it's easy for us to edit. And to do this, we're going to be using an online tool called Fodor, which has an AI plugin that allows us to customize pictures extremely easily in ways that were never possible before. So we're just gonna take the picture that a customer has given us, or it could be your own dog for now, we're gonna upload it into Fodor. Then we're gonna use the AI enlarge tool, which gives us a higher resolution version of the image to work with. So as you can see here, you can drag the bar here to get a before and after, and you can just see that it's a much cleaner and crisper image for us to work with. This will be great for further on down in the process when we're applying different design templates to it. Just gonna make it look really nice overall. Then we're just gonna hit apply so it saves that upscaled version of the design. And then we're gonna use the one tap enhance button which just makes it more beautiful overall. Next, we're gonna go over to the NFT art creator section which, forget the word NFT, this basically applies a ton of different art effects and styles to our image using AI. There's a ton of different templates you can choose from here but as you can see, the realistic watercolor template looks really good. So you just click that and then you adjust the intensity down to a lower setting so it doesn't look too overdone. So somewhere in the range of 30 to 60% is typically a good number to work with. And we're just gonna hit apply so it saves that to our image. Then we're gonna go back to adjust and now we're gonna be adjusting the highlights and just fine tuning the picture a little bit. And this can be pretty subjective, but a good template to compare yours against is what you're seeing on the other Etsy examples out there. So just play around with the settings a little bit until you find a combo that you're happy with. One that looks really nice is this film grain tool, which you can play around with the intensity but it basically makes it look like a hand-drawn picture rather than a digital mock-up. And another good one to use is the saturation tool to just make the colors pop a little bit more. Lastly, we're gonna use their AI background removal tool, which automatically detects the picture of their pet in the foreground and removes everything around it. And it's important to remember to do this step after you've already adjusted the settings. When you do it in reverse order, it kind of messes up the output. But as you can see, it works really well and it just removes the background completely. And if it messes up at all, you can touch up around the edges of the dog or the cat. Just make sure that it's only the background getting removed and none of the actual animal. And then to put the finishing touches on this, we're gonna go over to Canva and upload it in a new design. So first thing you wanna do is crop out the extra white space around the animal, cause it makes it easier to center it and make sure that it's in the exact center of the whole document. And then you're gonna drag and increase the size of their picture so that the top of their head is hitting like roughly around the halfway point in the document. And that's a big reason why we upscaled the design before is that now it's super high resolution. So we have no problems with increasing the size. We don't have to worry about it pixelating or anything like that. This effect looks really good, which is the drop shadow effect. When you apply it to the animal, it makes it like pop off of the page a little bit and gives it more of like a 3D feel rather than just like a flat image. And you can play around with those settings so it's not like a too dramatic of a shadow, but it really adds a nice element to the overall picture. And something nice you can do, but it's also pretty sad, is if the customer's animal has passed away, then you can add a little halo effect above their head. I was tearing up <laughs> trying to do this, even though I don't even know this dog, it's from Google Images, but it adds a nice effect and makes it that much more sentimental for your customers. Then you just add a headline to the very top with the pet's name, which we also got from the customer when they submitted their order. Normally using a handwriting font like this one looks pretty good. And then you can just increase the size 
and space out the letters a little bit so that it takes up more of the top of the page. And lastly, we wanna change the color of the background to something that our customers have chosen. This is pretty easy to see what colors would go well by using this Chrome extension color picker tool. What this allows you to do is go to these other Etsy listings that are selling this service. You drag and click and it'll give you the exact hex code of the colors they're offering. So let me just go back to Canva and select to change the background color. And we just copy paste in that hex code. And now ours looks identical to the outputs that they're making on Etsy. So you saw how we did that in a matter of minutes. And here's the final product for Teddy, a dog I've never met but it looks beautiful. And the best part is that you can either A, just sell this as a digital print, basically just share the file back to the original customer and there's no fulfillment cost or anything for yourself. So you can sell it for anywhere from 10 to $20 for just the digital file. When you send this back to the customer, you're done. And that's 90% profit after you factor for the Etsy fees. But if you wanna go the extra mile and really scale this into a business that can hit seven figures annually in revenue, then you're gonna to wanna to offer other products for these customers to buy their design on. And I'm talking about print on demand, which we've covered extensively in other videos. I'll link them around here if you wanna take a look at that. But basically we're able to take that design file and integrate it with an app called Printify. What Printify does is it print packs and ships our products to the end customer. And they have a massive catalog of products like canvases, tapestries, all kinds of home decor and you can just drag and drop your image of Teddy onto those products, then your customer can buy a canvas, whatever they want in a range of different sizes. And then this site, place it, puts it on mock-ups. So you're able to see and show your customer exactly how it would look in their home, extremely realistic, and it does it automatically. So as you can see here, we just put Teddy on canvas on the wall. On the right-hand side here, it generated a bunch of other examples that we can choose from. So we got the mock-up and place it, and now we're going over to Printify and uploading the design of Teddy. And so on these canvases, for example, you can see the checkered lines around. The one in the middle is the one that is actually going to print. And then on the edges, like where it wraps around the edge of the canvas, we can change the color to that using the hex code color that we already picked up from earlier. So when you paste in the hex code, it automatically changes the colors around what Teddy's gonna look like on when he gets printed. And then this is a five by seven version. They have 17 different sizes you can choose from. And obviously you would just have to drag Teddy in for the different dimensions. Here you can see they give us their own mockups too, and you can see what he would look like in a picture frame. And so that's just a quick example of how you can go from making 10 to $20 per customer to 50, 70, 100. I've seen people sell canvases for $250 plus. Now, obviously that's not all profit, but when it comes to Printify, their prices and quality are the best in the market. You're gonna be making the most profit possible and typically on a product like this, you'll be making in the range of 50 to 70% margins. And keep in mind, that's on top of the cost that you can charge for making the design in the first place. In total, the finances you're looking at for just one order is 10 to $20 for the digital art and then additional 30, 40 or $50 in profit for the print on demand product. So if we average that out and say about $50 profit per customer after Etsy fees and Printify costs, all that together, you're making about 50 bucks profit and it only took us a matter of minutes. Like, especially as you get better and better at this, you're able to speed up the process to the point that you can then just document it, create like a Word doc where it explains the whole process or screen recording and then hire a VA overseas where the cost of living is much cheaper. So it's much cheaper labor than here. You're able to hire somebody out to do this for you. So then you can focus on adding new products to your catalog and expanding the business overall, or just go sit on the beach if that's what you want to do. So that's how you create the digital art file and an overview of the print on demand business. But obviously there's a lot more that goes into the print on demand side than we were able to cover here. So watch this video next to get an in-depth breakdown of how to use AI to grow a seven figure print on demand business. Be sure to like and subscribe for more AI business content and I'll see you soon, bye.